Hi, I'm Sarah Backhouse of Future 360 TV, back again for the Midwest Innovation Summit, an annual gathering that celebrates cleantech innovation in the region. Over 400 investors, business leaders, policymakers, and entrepreneurs gathered to connect around conference themes like Midwestern competitiveness. I think there are some really key areas for us. I think energy, water, food and agriculture are some big sectors that we pay attention to anyway and that I think are natural strengths for the Midwest. We really cover the entire landscape when it comes to entrepreneurs, some of the best research scientists and, um, and universities and labs in the, in the world. Um, and then we also have incredible powerhouses of corporations as well. The Midwest is great because of its, uh, its history in manufacturing and the infrastructure that it has in place. Being from the Midwest, we're all entrepreneurs and we have what my father always called the Yankee ingenuity. The ethic of, of people here, very practical, very focused on real solutions. Key trends in innovation proved to be a hot topic. The trend for clean tech is a, a trend that has started. Um, it's not stopping, it's going to continue to scale. And the reasons for that are just the, the macro picture is, is there. I think one of the big trends is the expansion of the definition of clean tech to include things like food, security, agriculture, water. Um, I think those things are going to be important to um, securing our natural resources in the future. I like to refer to what's going on right now as clean tech 2.0. Whether you're talking about 3D printing technologies, you're talking about various software efficiency programs and other things that are coming to play that are making it a much more broad based and I think a much more successful uh, second stage of clean tech development. The biggest one right now is decentralization. We're seeing an integration of innovation in the IT industry actually enable distributed decision making with controls or deployment of technologies that are rivaling the central scale infrastructure that has dominated the energy sector in particular for 100 years. Another innovation we're seeing quite a bit is in, in software controls, uh, uh, sensors, technologies that really allow for intelligent systems, intelligent lighting systems, intelligent vehicles. And there was consensus that congregation helps spur collaboration. Events like the Midwest Innovations Summit are important because we bring together people who are thinking along the same questions but in different aspects of the supply chain. I think the Midwest Innovation Summit is a great crossing ground for big companies and big ideas. It provides opportunities for funders such as myself to hear what, what's going on, what the conversation's like amongst the entrepreneurial community. And it's the entrepreneurs today that are making the kinds of products that we're going to be able to invest in tomorrow. Electric utilities really haven't been part of this space for very long. And so for me, this is a great opportunity to see what's going on, make, make connections with people that I might be able to work with in the future. It really creates a networking uh, opportunity for investment as well as other uh, partner opportunities. The more conversation that you have, the more collaboration that you can get. It's getting the message out. We talked about education of the next generation workforce. So the more avenues we have to explore these things, I think the better off we'll be. The fifth annual Midwest Innovation Summit brought together cutting edge clean technologies, fresh insights and great networking.